35 different organizations and functions within this city over the last 40 years. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I don't know how this person does it, but she, they, they do. All right, Rob, it's your turn. This person attends so many meetings that this person's car has double the amount of miles it should have for its age. Oh. Rob, you wouldn't believe this, but this person rescued a dog from the Katrina storm. Wow, Katrina storm. Excellent. This person's favorite pastime on vacation is reading environmental impact reports. <laughs> Who does that? I don't know. If this person's going to be calling me something else again. I don't know about that. Anyway, this person also has been a Boy Scout instructor on teaching citizenship. Citizenship. Very important. Very nice. This person is a former triathlete. Oh. I'm out. I'm out. I, I got nothing. Uh, uh, <laughs> while this person was doing that, this person was baking pies. Baking pies. And running truck. That's, that's extraordinary. Extraordinary. This person loves whitewater rafting. Has a raft named Wolf River. Oh. We'll fill the name afterwards. Anyway, this person is patient, caring, understanding, strong resol resolve, and loves Nevada. The 2013 Citizen of the Year is, give us a drum roll. Robert should be back there, but we lost him. The 2013 Nevada Citizen of the Year is... Susan Stop! Come on up here. Come on up, Susan. Come on. I just want to say a few words about Susan if I could. Hi, Susan. I want to say one thing about this lovely lady. I've known her for a lot of years, actually since she moved to the bottom many years ago. And somehow or another we got involved in almost everything that was going on in the city, didn't we? And I just want to say three things. One, uh, she was heavily involved in the ability to, to have a flood control project in this Nevada, and she pushed, 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 and it happened. And we made that happen. We all did, right? The other thing, which is really interesting, is that in all the property that's east of, of Savannah Jones, it's all open space, it's, it's a reclaimed water, all this water is used on it, all this stuff. This lady pushed then the general manager of the San Antonio district to make that happen. I mean, she is something else. She is unbelievable, and she's very quiet about it all. She probably sits there and stares you down. If you don't do it, you're in trouble. Anyway, Susan, I love you, and congratulations. You have a wonderful person. We have a presentation. Make some noise! It's quite a surprise, because I don't belong to the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> I just thought that that was... Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I cheated. But I love this town and have since the time we moved here. And, you know, whatever I've been able to do to help, um, it was time well spent. And I will always love this town. It's not only a beautiful town, it's, it, it has all those wonderful qualities that we always look for. You know, whenever we, were, we traveled around, we lived in a lot of places before we came here. And once we got here, we got to know this wonderful community, this beautiful community. We never wanted to leave, and still don't. So we'll be around and be doing things 
to help wherever we can help and really appreciate this. I'm 